Okay, I should be live. Hi, it's me, your mother goose Justine, and I am back with another Amberlynn Reed react. I would love to welcome my gaggle back to my flock. Today I'm going to be reacting to Amberlynn's latest video titled HUGE in all caps, early birthday surprise and disgusted with my comments. I'll have a timestamp so when this reaction begins, pins in the comments, and it'll also be in the description of today's video. In case you want to skip me catching up with my audience in the beginning, you can just skip right to the timestamp. I will not be offended at all, by the way, just so you guys know. Hey everybody, I uh, hope you're having a great Thanksgiving weekend. Viridian Roots was first. Next was Ella, Val, Valentine, uh, Megan. Starts with a bang, of course. Welcome, everybody. Uh, look, I think we get yelled at again in this video, which um, I hope you guys are uh, prepared for. I, I'm getting used to being yelled at. That's why I have the is it it is what it is shirt on. It just it is what it is. It, no, thank you guys. I'm getting all right. Here come the hair comments. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> hair goals as always. Uh, nice hair today. Oh, thank you. Junik said your hair looks so good today. You know what, guys? It's actually clean. I washed it yesterday. <laughs> so it's extremely clean right now and kind of <clears throat> still a little wet. And, you know, what I don't like about it when it's clean is it looks really limp to me and flat and, I don't know, like flat up top and like, I don't know. Anyway, it's all right. I mean, Sophie said your hair sucks. Well, you know what? I've seen your curls. Yeah, that's right. I went there. Rosie chose not to be here today. She left just literally just now. Nobody wants to hang out with me except you guys. <clears throat> yep, that's right, buttery, buttery croissant. We got mommy lecture number 672 today. I wonder what we, what we get yelled at about in this one. I don't know what Amber's early, early birth, or birthday surprise is, but I bet it's something food related. <laughs> Let's see. There's no way you're cozier than me, Sophie. There's no chance. I am in sleep, sleep pants, like slippers. Like, look, guys. Still getting hair comments. Um, MG said, your clean hair is marvelous. I'll have a hair dedicated video soon. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's what it is saying, Creole. I think Rosie isn't here because Sophie's in here. That's a good question. That's fine, Sophie. You can be in your pajamas, in your bed all day, okay? Because actually you can't be, can you? I bet you have other things to do. Not me. That's what I'm going to be doing when I'm done streaming and for the rest of the day. Be jealous. Go ahead, Sophie. I don't care. Uh, awkward science, awkward sauce said, I'm predicting Amber will be projecting her dumbassery upon us. That's, that's what I, that's what I'm predicting too. Uh, buttery croissant said, wait, did you forget to announce you washed your hair? I did. Thank you. It reminds me. So I washed my hair yesterday in case you guys want <laughs> to Guys, I don't, I'm, I'm just being honest. I don't wash my hair very frequently. So when I do, it looks, I don't know, clean. I don't know. <laughs> of course, Sophie wants a donut. Well, you know what? I want a friggin', I, w I want a stream without you. How about that? <laughs> As Jody said, I can't wait till someone claims Justine is mean to viewers and just clips. <laughs> And it's just clips her talking to Sophie. <laughs> uh, Punk Rock Noir said, show us your hair. Okay, so this is my hair. As you can see, it's got, it's curly. Actually, it does this naturally, funny enough. But I do put products in it to help it look a little better. But it kind of, I kind of literally wake up like this. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. That's enough of the hair. <laughs> I did shower, yes, MG. That was a part of the hair washing process. I, I don't wash my hair every time I shower, but yesterday I did. <laughs> Jody's requesting a hair tour. <laughs> oh my God, it's reminding me of the old, old school JP Metz. And you know what's funny is, 
Like, I watch old, old JP Metz videos, and it used to be a lot about, like, I would have people kiss my ass about my hair all the time. But back then, when I was JP Metz, and JP Metz was a lot more popular, I, honest to God, my hair was not that great. <laughs> I straightened it, and it didn't look that good. But I got ass kissed anyway, over and over again. So I don't know if they were, looking back on it, I don't know if they were being sarcastic or if it was part of a joke that I wasn't in on. Because back then I literally thought it looked good. But my hair looked really bad back in those days, like the early JP Metz days. They, my hair was not, especially when I wore it curly. Oh my God, I had no idea what I was doing. There's never going to be a shower tutorial, Valentine. Not from me. Oh, God. If we have, if we get one from Amber, that'll be a video I don't react to. Ha! <laughs> oh, let's see. What else is going on, guys? So, I had a, um... Okay, so, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I did start watching this video in Discord yesterday. Um... The, the first half, look, or I don't even remember if it was a half. I was so relaxed, guys. I was barely there. <laughs> but uh, it was a lot of, like, she's hanging up clothes in her closet. I'm probably going to skip that. But the point is, there's a gift that um, Winifred gives Amber. And I'm sitting there watching this video, and I was like, when's this video going to be over? And all of a I didn't even see what the gift was because I just had the inclination that that very second I had to get up and finish my Thanksgiving desserts that I had, which was just the the chocolate cake I made, which is just the box of cake mix and a, a can of pumpkin puree. I had a slice of that and the rest of my ice cream, and I hovered over the sink and ate it. And then by the, t by the time I came back, she was still talking. She was yelling at us. So I don't, I didn't particularly enjoy watching this video, and I don't recall it. But that's a sum up of the video <laughs> we're about to watch. <laughs> but don't worry, I'm not relaxed right now. So hopefully this will be watchable. And I'll actually see what ha what happens in the video. The, apparently, um, Buttery Croissant, we'll get into it. But apparently Winifred insisted Amber opens this bir birthday present five weeks early. <laughs> apparently... Winifred insisted, so that's why I'm assuming it's something food related. <laughs> you guys know what I think about Winifred. <laughs> anyway. What was a gift? I don't know, I forget. Anyway. I don't know. I'll be surprised if it's not food. Val said, I watched it and I remember just screaming shut up to my screen. All right, well, I'm not gonna, that's, I can't be just yelling shut up at the screen the entire react. <laughs> I'll be listening to what she says. Hell yeah, Intense Chirp said, thanks for the entertainment while I door dash. Oh my God, I wonder what you're door dashing. Yes, you made it, Annie Lynn. Anna Lynn, sorry, Anna Lynn. Anna Lynn. <laughs> You made it. Yeah, neither of them have any self-control buttery croissant. I mean, I, I'm assuming. They, look. <laughs> I'm assuming. Though Amber wouldn't say, no, that's not true, that she doesn't have no self-control. Okay? It's not true. She has... She has a... She has disorders <laughs> that excuse that behavior. So, how dare you? <laughs> Hell yeah, and Anna's listening while baking Norwegian cinnamon buns. Well, you know what I'm doing? I'm sitting here talking with the water. It's not very exciting. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I, I'm starting to. I don't know. I, I've never been. I've never been like um. Like the Winifred fan. Like I don't know. It's just I'm starting to get kind of like. I just don't understand, like, I thought Winifred was a help. Why is she letting Amber, like, binge daily? Like, so I guess that means Amber is ordering food daily? I mean, I don't know what a person's 
supposed to do in that position. Like, technically, Amber's ordering it herself. It's just... Like, does Winifred try to stop it at all? Or has she just given up and let Amber order the cheeseburgers? Like, I don't get it. I don't know. And it's I guess it's not mine to wonder about. So I guess... <laughs> Old Man YouTube said, I had to turn this video off. The lecture series is too much. This is really turning into a lecture series. Like, right? I feel like I'm in college and I need, like, a spiral notebook and all of it. Like, it, I don't know, when Amber's going to start handing out syllabus. She's going to hand out a syllabus for friggin' Vlogmas, isn't she? Anyway. Uh, not another sock puppet said, Winifred didn't actually change anything. I think it was just Amber acting like she was willing to take advice. What I was actually, I don't know why I was, I was thinking about this this morning. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking about Amber and Winifred this morning. Like when I'm like, I mean, I'm talking this morning, morning, right? Like I'm sitting and I'm drinking coffee in my bed. Like, I don't know what, why I was thinking about this, but I was thinking that the reason why Amber was so on track and on point back when Winifred was new was just that, was just that Winifred was new and she wasn't comfortable eating like she usually does in front of Winifred. But now that that's over, and she has binged and overeaten in front of Winifred many times, and Winifred, I guess, has succumbed or doesn't care, now Amber's doing it. I think, that, I think that's all it is. <laughs> I think Everybody's saying my hair is beautiful today. Don't get used to it. I don't wash my hair too often. <laughs> don't get used to it. No more hair compliments. That's enough. I got absolutely none yesterday. And now today, you guys are... Look, I get it, but it's not going to be like this every day. <laughs> tomorrow, it's going to be... It's Well, actually, tomorrow, I'm hopefully not streaming. We'll see. <laughs> uh, what are you guys talking about? Uh, I, I just... I don't know. I guess we just have to, I don't know, I mean, there's so many things that Amber has, like, talked about. Here it is, the vegan pill said, I'm waiting for lipo lipodema massages, tutorials, slash advice, situation type deal moment videos. Apparently that specialist showed her how to do it, and Winifred said she'll do it with her. Right, like that kind of stuff. All right, if people are still talking about my hair, I'll continue. Uh, Anna Lynn said, your curls are the curls I always wanted. Well, this is what you got to do. Okay, this is what I did to finally make my curls decent. I frigged up. I, you know what? I'm, I'm done. I'm done with the, uh, what do you call it? I'm done with cheap products. I sprung for the for the nice pro products, the Wee Dad. You guys know what I did. Wee Dad, friggin' it's not cheap, but it's great curl products. And I knew it worked for my hair, but it was so expensive, so I never bought it. But you know what? I just dang bought it, and I'm just using it, and that's it. I I I, I just that's it. I, I like what is the drugstore brands. I'm done. I, I, I kept trying to like do my hair in the least expensive way possible because my hair is long and I need a lot of products, but you know what? Nope. And now I just spring for expensive products and, and it's worth it for me. <laughs> anyway, Wee Daddy. That's right. See, life's beauty. Wee Daddy. I love my Wee Daddy. It's the best product. Wee Dad. Yes. Anna Lynn. All right. Stop making fun of Wee Dad. How's the hair product spell? This is not sponsored. I pay a, I paid a lot of money for this stuff. This is my favorite one. I'm not using it today, but I, I will, like, because I washed it yesterday. I, I, did, I don't need this. It's a refresh spray. So this makes your curls nice when your curls start to look not nice anymore. So, we dad. That's what it is, we dad. So I have that, and I have this, which is empty, and I have some refill it. This is the uh, Curl Shaper Volumizing Jelly. This is lightweight. This is for thinner hair. So it's a really lightweight cream. 
I also use when it when it starts to get really like I really have to wash my hair. I bring out the hairspray. This was like forty bucks. I don't mean to like brag. I'm just saying this is you know look. This is why my hair has been looking nice. I'm being honest. I, <laughs> I use nice stuff now. That's it. I'm done trying to make the drugstore stuff work. Um, it just it just works better. Period. All right. I'm done talking about my hair. How long have I been live? All right. Only about fifteen minutes. It's all right. Um, Michael Fink said, why haven't you put those products in a different container yet? I actually have. Uh, funny enough, I, I, I don't want to like, I didn't want to go on too long about it, but it's, so this is water and I don't just use water, water. I use purified water. I don't use tap water on my hair. Funny enough. So I fill this with water. It's almost empty. I have to do this again soon. And then I squeeze in product and then shake. So I squeeze in probably like a quarter sized amount of this, maybe a little more. And uh, what else did I squeeze in there? Oh, leave-in conditioner. This, the leave-in conditioner I do have to get Weed Dad. This is um, Giovanni, I love this. So um, this is almost empty. I'm trying to decide if I wanna buy this again or get a Weed Dad leave-in. Either way, so I squeeze a little bit of these two products into the water, shake it up, and then I spray, and then I comb it through. So funny enough, I have done that. <laughs> I didn't want to get too advanced with you guys just now, but anyway. Anyway. Yeah, that is, so then when it's wet, because you don't brush dry curls, guys. I'm, I'm getting like guys. I'm like getting so advanced. You do not brush dry curls. I wet it with my mixture. Then I comb it through with this amazing brush I got on Amazon that was like $10. Anyway, I'm done. I'll make a proper tutorial. No, I won't make a proper tutorial. JP Metz wants to do a proper tutorial eventually. So, anyway. You're welcome for the container tutorial, Loaded Potatoes. Funny enough, I, I had done that with my products. I did put it in a different container. <laughs> anyway. Okay, Kelly said, okay, so should I wait until my hair dries and then brush my curls? No. No, you have to brush your hair before it dries while it's still wet. L do not brush dry curls, idiots. You, you brush it when it's wet, and then once you brush it, you scrunch. It's holding at the bottom, then you scrunch up, ass. It's not complicated. So you got you so you have hair like this. Imagine imagine guys just imagine. Imagine my hair right now. Oh my god, you guys are so dumb. So imagine hair like this, right? Where did I put my brush? I can't find All right. Well, here's a comb. So this is just a comb. Wait, no. I don't want to show it. Where did I put my brush? So, look at my hair right now, right? Just right now. So if I take this brush and go like this, what do you think is going to happen to my curls, dumbasses? Do you think it's still going to look like this? If I take this brush, that has a bunch of hair in it. Sorry, guys, I haven't cleaned it out in a minute. I think since I got it. But anyway, <laughs> it's gross. But anyway, so if I like go like this, what's going to happen? Why on earth would you brush dry curls? So you're brushing your curly hair while it's dry and wondering why it looks bad. Wow. Wow. That's... So th this is really news to you guys. That's pretty bad, guys. That's You guys apparently need more help than I realized. That's something else. You... Oh, Ella said, I can only listen, I only listen to lectures slash scolding when it's done in a bathroom. I'm not doing that in a bathroom because then I have to do it standing up. Okay, I'm not standing and lecturing, I'm sitting. I have limited spoons. Okay. Hunter said it's called intuitive brushing. What on earth is intuitive about brush, brushing dry hair? 
First of all, it's going to ruin the curl. Second of all, it's going to hurt and it's going to be harder to detangle. That's actually three things. Why would you do any of those three things? It's just so stupid. <laughs> Sorry, a little JP Metz came out that moment. I'm, I'm just done with these quite like, wow. Oh, and Anne said, I'm adopted and my parents don't know how to style curly hair. You know, funny enough, funny enough, my, uh, my niece has a, well, first of all, first of all, if it weren't for me, my youngest niece's hair would be a dang mess because I understand that she has curly hair and I've been largely taking care of it. <laughs> so I'm grateful that I'm here because I, I don't know, because my sister was brushing her dry curls, guys. <laughs> I had to shut it down. I had to shut it down. And so she'd brush her, her curly hair in the morning while it's dry. And probably still has product in it from the day before. Guys, I had to put a, I had to put a friggin' stop on that. I, I can't imagine. I mean, I understand. I, I think my parents weren't certain how to do my hair either when I was younger. So I totally get it. My hair only looks decent now because I'm older and I can afford the products that make it look good. <laughs> Okay, Ari said, instructions unclear, I buzzed my hair like Chantal. I didn't recommend that at all. <laughs> Though it's funny because I've been thinking about doing that because I've been watching so many videos of balding men buzz cutting their hair short. It's like, for some reason, I'm, and they look so happy after they have it cut off. I don't know why I'm, I'm into those videos. And then it makes me want to buzz my hair all of a sudden. I'm like... Now I want to buzz my hair. <laughs> they, I don't know. I'm just so... I keep me meaning to mention these videos to you guys. I don't know what got me into them. But I'm just so happy for the guys. You know, they look so... I never thought of men being, like, self-conscious of that kind of thing. I think hair is literally the last thing that I notice when I'm looking at a man. <laughs> so... And they're so self-conscious of it. They, And in these videos, they're like, oh, man, I've been dreading doing this. I don't think I'm ready. I want to hang on to my hair. And I'm like, why? It's upsetting you. Get rid of it. No one cares about your hair. <laughs> and then they do it, and they look so relieved. And, they, and it's just the most wholesome, enjoyable content I've watched in a really long time. <laughs> Right, just a human said, wait, men have hair? Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, guys, if your hair is stressing you out, just buzz it off. And they look so handsome when they buzz it off, right? Because before they buzz it off, they're trying to do these goofy things with their hair to make it look like they have hair. And I'm like, oh, guys, like, they're so, some of them are so self-conscious to do it. And it's so cute. <laughs> it's the first thing you notice, Milky? Oh, man. I don't know. That's a, I guess that's a personal thing, but I, 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 I do not care about a guy's hair. Please don't have nicer hair than me. <laughs> I do not care about their hair at all. I wouldn't even notice if they were balding. <laughs> Probably not. I don't know. It's just so cute. It's like, I don't know. Oh my God. I've been going on for like 23 minutes, guys, but it's a relaxing Saturday. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm not exactly excited to get into this video because it's a lot of lecturing, I think. All right, I forgot to pull up the video, apparently, so let me let me get it real fast. Here it is. All right. Uh, let me turn this on. Okay, so... I, I love how it's a huge early birthday surprise, like in all caps. It's like everything is huge or gigantic in Amberland, and appropriately so, now that I think of it. All right, let's give this a watch. We are November 18th, so today's the 26th, so we're still quite a bit behind. Okay, so maybe, do you guys think Vlogmas is starting, like, friggin' in the middle of November? <laughs> Whatever does hello, it. hello. Welcome Hi. to a new vlog. I'm actually going to a couple appointments today, running a few errands. Just wanted to All check right. in and say hello, hello. My allergies are so 
bad. All right, so, I hate it. Sorry, right, that's fine. She talks about her allergies. I, I kind of, I don't know. I, I do like her eyelashes. I like her eyelashes, but the colors, I'm just not sure of it. It just seems like, I don't know. I don't know why it doesn't work, but it just, it's quite, I don't know. Anyway. Later that night. So wait, what was that clip? Just her feet walking for two seconds? And weirdly, it looks like, the, it looks like that clip is sped up of her I'm walking breathing. look. I don't, I don't, I don't think she actually walks that fast. Uh, Ella asked, how many appointments does she have in a week? Well, Amber's a professional sick person, so probably a lot. So we're about to watch Barbarian, which is a movie that came out this year, which I've been wanting to watch. Right. And that... I bought it on YouTube. Okay. I don't, I'm, I don't really need to hear about her the movie she's watching. Val says her makeup doesn't work with her outfits. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe she's a little too old for the look. I don't know. But I think like more muted colors would look a little nicer on her. I believe this one's like actually really good and not predictable at all. So um, I'm excited and I'll let you Well, Amber, Amber's too much of a film connoisseur to want to have anything to do with predictable storylines, guys. No, what we think. We're going to have some like popcorn. It's going to be like a little date night because it is friday but we're gonna stay in for this date night oh okay oh you're staying in for day night i never would have guessed all right they're watching a movie they're watching a movie and eating of course you can't enjoy a movie without food okay god god freaking forbid oh yeah yeah do you think amber was more excited for the movie or that bowl of popcorn <laughs> oh hello hi we have like 15 minutes left of the movie but feline fell asleep and then i was like you know what you know i can't make <laughs> my body said so i fell asleep as well so huh we have like amber's got a new way of talking guys that i don't think is very authentic i'll just say that 15 minutes left so i can't give opinions quite yet fully but i will say i was not expecting I can't make it through. I can't make it, it through a movie. Down. I can't make it through a movie either, guys. <laughs> They're too long. My attention just isn't there. It's got to be a really good movie. And, I don't know. I guess we'll see. So today, during one of my errands, my meetings I had to go to, um, I got called by a professional Bye. company, a social media influencer. <laughs> For the first time. God, do you guys see? There's just like dust flying everywhere when she does this. And she's kind of... At first, I was excited to watch Amber just folding her clothes. Because I need help with, with like folding like blankets and things. And maybe for... I can... But she's kind of just turning them... Um, they, they were inside out. She's turning them not inside out and just laying them down. So she's not exactly folding. So we're not getting a folding tutorial... Folding blanket tutorial right now but boy her clothes look dusty there is dust flying everywhere when she does this jeez she's yes very important very important meetings very because she for a very important social media influencer that amber is sorry i keep talking over her but social this is, media influencer here queen just no no i, I don't <laughs> the shade guy i'm sorry guys <laughs> Uh, Haley said, who on earth is she influencing, guys? <laughs> Apparently me. I keep making videos about her, I guess. She influences the reactors to get off their butts and react. And I think that's it. I just thought that was funny, so yeah. I wanted to share that with you. So I'm a social media influencer as my career. Okay. I don't know. I'm just grateful for you guys. I don't want to share it enough because... Sometimes it's just, I feel bombarded. Amber you, can, Amber, you can be honest and just say you're grateful for the paycheck. It's fine. You don't have to pretend to kiss her ass right now. With sadness, because people think I'm someone I'm not. But for those of I, you who... No, I don't, I'm just, I think you are what you put on screen. 
I, I, I'm not making things up with my opinions. See the real me and... The real you. We get to see that in your live streams. <laughs> watch me in silence or message me and just are the sweetest. I appreciate you guys, like, mm -hmm. truly. Right, and, o you know? and only those people, not the ones with action, with any actual advice or input. <laughs> I appreciate the haters. I appreciate your guys' Yeah, you better, dang, because I'm giving you premium money right now. I clicked on your dang video. Just two. I just don't appreciate your comments, that's all. All right, that's, or, that's fine. Well, I don't appreciate... I don't appreciate you dicking around with your professionals. How about that? The harassment. Like once it's All right, so is this harassment when I just point out that you're not doing what your doctors or therapists want you to do? Is that harassment or am I just reacting to the content? It's leaking into like personal life. It's like, really? Calm down, folks. I feel like I was meant to be on YouTube and <laughs> I just feel so lucky. That's like every single day that <laughs> she feels lucky every single day that she wakes up, makes passive income doing very little <laughs> and doesn't have to go to work. I remember you, like years ago before like YouTube was my actual job. If anyone ever asked me like, or if I'm filling out like a guided journal, which I love doing, if the question is like, what is your dream job or career? I would always say, I want to be a YouTuber. <laughs> like to be able to pay my bills and just there's no way that amber's dream job would be an online show all about her where she gets to talk all about herself and all her favorite things and gets gets to read all the comments about her and doesn't be surprise my boss technically because truly that's that's honestly the case I am my own boss, you know, I get to choose my- Yeah, I thought she wanted to be a writer too, Ella, but apparently no, apparently she always wanted to be a YouTuber. Huh. One hours, you know, and I just, I love filming and editing and- <laughs> She loves filming and editing, apparently. I have met so many wonderful people. Hi. Like, my greatest friends that I have right now are because of YouTube. I don't want to get mushy gushy, but I'm just like. You, who? Who? <laughs> Strawberry Shortcake said, <laughs> when a Fred's alternate account messaged her on Instagram. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Grateful. I know. We, we all thought she wanted to be in, she wanted to be a writer, but nah, nope. Nope, YouTube's always been her passion. She loves editing. Funny Thank you, enough. So thank you guys. Oh, and I also forgot to mention. Um, so you guys know how my psychologist. Wait, I'm hot. God, she walks like. Is on maternity. She like shuffle walks. <laughs> her gait really ain't. I was about to say ain't too good. <laughs> her gait is not is not very good guys she shuffles leave. Like, like, maternity leave right um she hooks me up so i'm not like without appointments mm -hmm. with another psychologist this one's a male mm -hmm. and i have never my whole life like i started going to therapy when i was literally nine years old because i was put in foster care whatever whatever but um I've never had a male psychologist, like, and for me, I don't know if I, I have either. Because of my childhood and some things that have happened, it's a little bit harder for me to open up to males. Um, I know that might be okay. unpopular opinion, controversial. I don't know. Like, it shouldn't be. People have like different traumas or whatever, and sadly. Um, that's one of mine. It was definitely a weird experience. So, is this going to be the reason she quits? <laughs> Boy, the reason she quits things are really starting to degrade, guys. Now she's just quitting. Now she's going to quit just because he's male. <laughs> and, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that was... Like, <laughs> I don't really know how I feel about it. Like, he's nice and all, but... It's also just hard for me to talk to. There's so much friggin' dust flying around. Do you guys see it? I don't know, because her screen's kind of small on mine. Someone but... else 
in general because I've been seeing this psychologist for so long now. Like this is the longest I've been a part of anything like this. So I miss her. It hasn't been that long, right? She's been in this program since earlier this year. This is the longest she's been in therapy. Mm. You know, I'm so excited. Because she went to the ED treatment earlier this year, no? You know, of course it's not controversial, Michael. She's just, she needs something to talk about. But it hasn't been that long. Am I wrong? I'm waiting to see what you guys say. I'm just surprised that this is the longest she's been in therapy considering her childhood. Anyway. For her to come back so she can tell me about her baby. Well, I, I guess I'm not that surprised because... <laughs> because it doesn't look like... Amber hasn't made progress in any direction as long as I've watched her. So I guess it makes sense. Yeah, no. I'm just excited. Next week, I have another appointment with him. And he gave me a little bit of homework, which is not fun, but... You know, you gotta do what you gotta do and do it. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, so she still hasn't done it. <laughs> oh, you guys think she's gonna actually do what I her? said that. But I just. <laughs> look, look at the. Look at the YouTuber who loves filming and editing, just throwing her phone wherever the frig right now. Oh, thank you so much for the super chat, Tim. He said, thanks for helping us get through her, her, her videos. You're the best. You're very welcome. <laughs> you guys help me. I want to actually watch these so I know what I'm talking about. I think this is a good learning experience for me because I need to be able to get past some of the shit that has gone, in, gone on in my past, my childhood. And I've heard of this like rapid eye movement thing that you can do in therapy that can actually unlock memories from your past. Oh, God. All right, guys, I, I don't recommend gimmicks. I, I don't know. <laughs> Hunter said, wow, this is quality. So what about the rapid? I so <laughs> I know Hunter said, I feel like we're FaceTiming. <laughs> I know. You know when you're on FaceTime, but you don't want to stop talking, but you have to put the phone down for a second. <laughs> This is filming ceilings is a real passion, which is cool. You guys ever watch videos of them cleaning ceilings or walls? Wow, I'm really. You guys are really seeing the real Justine right now. There's a guy I watch, I watch on YouTube with autism and he. And he, and he cleans, and he loves to clean, and he films cleaning, and, and he likes really messy, dirty walls and stuff. <laughs> he cleans homes that were hoarded. Anyway. <laughs> E-D-M- E-M-D-R. Okay, is science, Key said. Um, and it's really helpful for some people. All right. Uh, okay, anyway. Should I? No, you do not get to see Justine's recommended page, Jamie. Okay, my recommended videos are probably odd. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Like, I know there's so many things that I'm forgetting, and I just, I'm not sure if it'll do me more damage or if it'll do me good if those memories are unlocked. Something to think about. Well, maybe, Amber, maybe, I don't know. Why do you need to think about that? Did he bring it up? Why do you need to think about that? That sounded like a very random thing. I'm not sure if the therapist brought up EDMR or... I, I don't know. I, I don't know why she's all of a sudden randomly wondering about it. All right, so um, apparently she binged yesterday in Amberland. Oh, okay. no, no surprises here. Remember my last vlog, I was deciding if she's I up to weight. continue my Okay, she's now officially gained over 10 pounds doing this. Look at these obsessive numbers. This is absolutely ridiculous. Jeez. And through video, like I'm going to do it regardless of my personal life. I figured I will continue it through video form as well, but I'm just not going to talk about my binging 
I'm not going to talk about my medical stuff. I'm not going to talk about my okay. doctors. Nothing like Wait, that. Okay, anymore. we've heard this before. <laughs> I'm not sure what else she's going to talk about, but I guess we'll find out with this video. Because I just don't feel comfortable at this point. But today was day 16, November 18th. Five. But you do feel comfortable showing us all these numbers and whether you binged or not? I don't know, guys. I just feel like this is the sort of thing that she needs to stop doing. <laughs> I, like, what does her therapist think about this piece of paper? Like, I'm dying to know. 5.6. It just seems really obsessive. Hello. Hi. So, it's not even my birthday yet, but Feline is insisting I open my birthday gift. So All right, full disclosure. So, I watched the Rage stream in Discord, and I bailed at this point exactly. And funny enough, when I got, I realize now I'm looking at it, I'm a minute and a half in. But last night, I thought I was watching it for like 20 minutes. I was like, this is so long. <laughs> I had no idea what I just watched. It looks like she was just folding clothes. I was like, what the blank? Um... <laughs> Ella said, wifey, please get her a hairbrush for Christmas. <laughs> anyway, I bailed at this point. I was like, this is way too long. I was like, eh, it's about to be over, I guess. I, it, I was way, it's not even half over. But anyway, so I got up and made myself a dessert. I hover, I heated up the dessert, hovered over the sink and ate it because I didn't want to walk back to my room and then walk back with a plate so i hovered over the sink i'm sure i'm not the only one who's ever done that and i cleaned it up and then i came back and the video was still on i was like this is like an hour long oh my she god was like i want to see your reaction so put your phone on the tripod i'll be right back she left and she shut the door. So yeah, my birthday's coming yeah. up. I'm gonna be 32. Oh my god! You sure god. are, Amber. Literally, better in get five with weeks it. From now, <laughs> my birthday's get in with five it because you know you're in your third. Look, I've been in the 30s for a while now. Look, stuff starts to hurt. I've been having to take friggin' leave every morning for my friggin' hips. We don't need to make hip hop to the hip hop to jokes again, guys. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's a, so friggin' now I have sciatica, I guess. He's God. Done. Got it. Can you imagine having sciatica and you're 500 pounds? Jesus. I need to do this now. I was wearing eyelashes, but I took them off. So. All right. I'm looking a little crusty, busty. That's all right. We're used I'm to it, Amber. Waiting patiently. Oh, God. She just, she's just making love to herself in the viewfinder right now. She just loves Can her reflection. I can't look at myself like this. Like, I mean, she loves herself. Oh, my God. I can, but... <laughs> Talk of shape. Like, she, like, Amber can't think of anything else to do in her alone time other than look at herself. And, and she's thinking that we're interested in this. Right, Jamie said, I'm 45 and I wouldn't be able to move whatsoever at her weight. I'm 1,000% positive I wouldn't be able to move whatsoever if I were Amber's weight. I know that there's a reason, guys, why I keep it starchy over here because I would not be comfortable if I gained weight, for sure. You coming? I'm ready. Oh, yes. Amber gets a prezi. Sure. She's been a good girl. Okay. Yeah, she's right. Wings of Hope said, <laughs> Wings of Hope said she's preening like a parrot. That's a good way to put it. Look at her kissing herself. <laughs> Why am I so nervous? They're, I want to open them so bad, but they're closed. Yeah, uh, who said it? Rachel said she's probably already surpassed 515 pounds a few days ago. I feel like, guys, I really feel like I'm usually not like this. I'm usually not this way. But I really feel like I'm starting to not believe her weigh-ins at this point. She looks very large. So, anyway. No, you didn't. Is that for real? Babe. Wait, I'm actually emotional. Hold on. 
Is that the real deal? No, it's not. Wait, why do I feel like I'm turning so, like, I feel so fiery hot right now. That's how I, I felt yesterday after I had my large dessert. I really felt, like, hot last night, and I've been feeling cold lately, but I felt like I was burning up. And I wonder if it's because I had eaten so many calories. I don't know. But usually I don't have a dessert or nothing like that, but I had, like, cake and ice cream and a big helping of it. And I felt like I was burning up, guys. It was crazy. Serious? Or maybe I'm just going through menopause. I don't know, guys. I don't know. That's what that big box was. Oh, you guys. It's going down. It's going down. Babe. Babe. Oh. <laughs> it's just that... Of the desk lowering is so funny. <laughs> oh God. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Did you? Oh my God. You knew this is what I was getting you. I had no idea. So Amber moved the desk instead of just getting up and looking at it. <laughs> she moves the whole ass desk so she didn't have to get up. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. I'm shook it. Uh -huh. I had no idea. Oh, you guys, that's how I I'm actually really excited for this. The, are you serious? Oh, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> right, old man YouTube said, just seeing the exact same thing happen to me on Thanksgiving. I'm normally cold, but after three slices of pie, I was sweating. Yes. Yeah, no, I, guys, I I did overeat. I wouldn't say I binged this this Thanksgiving, but I for certain overate, and I felt hot. Oh my god, I wonder if that's like, I don't know. So when when people are like on the gain, <laughs> like do do you guys typically feel hot? No, really, I don't know. I felt hot last night. Anyway, so yes, I am excited for this. I don't care what you guys have to say. I don't care. I, I want to see what this looks like. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, that's a car payment, Danny. That's bigger than a car, you know, look. Yeah, and Megan said probably at least $700 with tax and shipping. I did not binge on broccoli, buttery croissant, but I got myself some broccoli and that is coming. Uh, anyway, I really like this. I'm very excited. Here we go. It's what I've been wanting. Yes, Wait, it has. I, I, I want to see what this looks like. I There's a freaking fur ball right there. But yeah, I think I'm in shock. Baby. That is so cool. Baby. Wait. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm so shocked. It said she could tell that I was shocked based on my first reaction, but now I'm like all giddy and I tried to lift up the box and it's too heavy. Oh, oh my god, god think of it, Amber. I mean, yes. it's, it's probably not as heavy as you are. I, I don't mean to be a jerk, but think of it that way, and you're walking around with that on your body, so think of that the next time you pick up your Uber Eats app, huh? Just saying. Oh, oh my god, it's like all kinds of ways to open this, okay? Oh my oh goodness. My god. Uh, guys, I'm sorry. I'm so actually like enjoying this content. Boxes, which I was definitely <laughs> expecting. I'm gonna get these out now. I cannot. I cannot. Yeah, she needs a gym membership, Sea Lifes. But you know what? She got. Winifred didn't get her a gym membership, but she did get her a sitting down activity. So that's great. Maybe Amber will use that pedal thing, blow the dust off of it, so she can pedal her feet under the desk while she does it. Any longer. Someone has decided oh, that the box this... is hers. Yes, oh, big did. gun. Oh, my goodness. Aww. She likes the so, box. Why do cats now. love boxes? Guys, it's a... So, I even... opened the first box, and it says book one, which means I'm pretty sure the other two boxes also have books. So, this oh. is just one of three. Wow. And it's already... Look at all those pieces. Super Oh, my God. God I'm sorry, guys. I'm, like, so excited for this. I don't care. Guy, I don't care. You guys can think it's dumb all day. This is exciting. <laughs> now I get to... Now I get to look at the Titanic being built every video because I react to these. I'm actually genuinely excited for this. I don't care what you could. I don't care. I don't care. 
What do you guys say? I don't know. I'm gonna watch it. Hell yeah. Oh my god, you guys. Yes. Look at all these pieces. That's crazy. Oh, this is this is gonna be uh -huh. this is gonna be wonderful. I'm so beyond grateful, baby. <laughs> Like genuinely. You All right, that, that's great. I'm glad it wasn't. See, oh, it, it no, was no. not a. F Sorry, guys. All right, she's grateful. I get it. You guys. I'm grateful it wasn't a food related gift because that's what I was assuming. Oh, Kim said boxes provide a typical one entrance slash exit with security surrounding you. That's why cats like certain things like boxes. How cute. Uh, well, it's funny you say that, the vegan pill, because there are, there's plenty of conspiracy about the Titanic. There certainly is. Um, I could talk more about it, but let's just keep on the, on the co Here. cozier topics, such as Amber destroying her life and health. Is bag number one. I don't even know how many bags there are, but we're in for it. This is going right. to take so long. I'm going to really right, want to like... talking about it. Can she... I don't know. She's talking about it. Can you just build the dang, dang, dang thing? Uh. I don't know. <laughs> I know. I'm such a Lego nerd. I don't know how to explain it. Like, this is so stupid. I just feel so happy right now. Yeah. I have it all set up over here. Box one. Two. All right. So do we think that she's going to stop binging now that she finally got the thing she's always wanted, guys? And three. All right. Bags one. <laughs> Kim said, plus the Titanic can't sink on a flat earth. Funny. is finished so that is what i have built so far i'm all not right. gonna do number two right now as much as i want very to. exciting i should probably all right, all right. stay no i'm not wearing the same thing i'm wearing a maxi i know it's not that attractive no so it turns out that i actually have lipedema in my stomach so that's why my stomach watch let me show you guys that's why my stomach goes out right here. Well, this lighting is not it. Lighting. Angle. So, okay. So, guys, she's not big. It's all, it's, it's lipedema. <laughs> she has the need to lose weight and she can't lose weight. And she's this way because of lipedema and don't bug her no more. <laughs> Jamie said it's fat. It's not fat, Jamie. It's lipedema. Hello? There we go. This part right here. Right. I didn't know you could have it in your stomach. Lipedema. It's lipedema. She didn't... No, she is not big. She's got 500 pounds of lipedema, guys. I'm like, but... Turns out you can. I know it's not, like, attractive to see. Not fat at Sorry all. That's right, that, Milky. I am who I am. Okay? So... I do notice with my weight gain that my stomach has gotten bigger. <laughs> oh my God, Amber, it's so funny because I noticed that too when I gain weight. <laughs> Obviously, my breathing's gotten worse. Obviously. Uh, Anyways, I just actually got out of the shower and I used something new on my face where usually... Your girl is hesitant on that, but it's making my eyes burn a little and I feel like a little burning right here, but we're going to get through it together, folks. Okay, Amber. Do you hear that? Every time after I get out of the shower, it isn't five minutes later and water just comes out of the faucet. Okay. During right. Queen. Today we are using a Bahamas passion fruit and banana flower. Uh, body spray by the good old bath and body works i don't need also, to know I'm, I'm sorry i don't need to know how amber smells mert is calling me everybody mert break mert i'm streaming mert uh, want to say uh yes uh, really yeah i think so I don't know. Charlotte came home right before I stream started streaming. I don't know what they're doing. I'm gonna be on it. All right, my sister hung up on me. <laughs> don't worry, don't panic. My mom's here. Jeez, they're not, you know, being children without supervision, guys. <laughs> but I don't know. Technically, I don't know if the kids are here now. 
Anyway. It smells so good. All right. So, you guys, look. Feline just finished the Lego wall map. All right, Amber, show us where Russia is. Is that what it's <laughs> called? Yeah. That sounds right. Show us Russia, Russia, Amber. And she wanted to finish it. So, Dave. <laughs> Amber never showed us Russia. I'm sorry. Okay, so she ate intuitively yesterday, guys. Which I think if I remember what that means is she did not overeat and I, I don't know. I forget what her definition of intuitive is, guys. I, I forget. So is it intuitive? So you don't intuitively binge though, or over, you don't, what if you intuitively overeat? I'm, it's just very confusing. Day number 17th, November 19th, I weighed in at 504.6. And yesterday was a successful day with intuitive eating. Okay. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you guys. Um, I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to talk about, you know, binging anymore or like how I'm doing in that regard, or like medical talk, or doctor talk, or anything like that, but... Oh my gosh, she couldn't even make one video? <laughs> because she said that, she was like, I'm not talking about that stuff anymore. But in this, now, now she's about to talk about it, okay. <laughs> okay. It's crazy that I said I didn't want to do this anymore, but then today, since I'm a little bit behind on all my videos, um, I... A little bit behind. Okay. The video that went up was me showing you guys what I ate during a binge. And I am reading the comments because I want to respond to some. Like, oh my God, this is so behind. This is when she posted a burger and fries and four mozzarella sticks and called it a binge. That was the last time I heard her say that she was binging and this is what I'm binging. Is it, That's what she's about to talk about. It's it's behind. I don't know if you guys remember this. Heart some. I want you guys to know that I see you, hear you. Hi. And I know there's a lot of supporters out there. And Yeah, that's right. I do support, Amber. It's not like I don't want, you know, what's best for you and stuff. For the record, by the way. I really want to see your guys' comments. And I okay. want us to engage and um, have a better relationship with one another. And obviously, while doing that, I see some of the, you know, horrible things that people say. And so I showed you guys what I binged on. <laughs> and I am being called a liar, saying that's not a binge. I am being told this is insulting. It because, is. Because, you know, I have been eating. I have been eating. No, 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 guys. I'm not listening to this. I'm so, this is what this rant is. I'm not listening to this. You showed a burger and fries and called it a binge. That's, yes, that's insulting. That like binge eat, like people eat until they're sick. And I'm sure Amber does too, but she wanted to show us a dainty, a dainty meal and call it a binge. So that we would wonder, oh, Amber eats so dainty. I wonder why she's so heavy. It must be out of her control. That's what Amber wanted. that you would call this a binge this isn't you binging it has honestly <laughs> threw me for a loop i'm gonna be honest because it was yeah it threw us for a loop too a burger and fries is a binge so what are your normal meals very very hard for me to show that binge and i want to say straight up right off the bat here that binging is different for everybody i can't guys i'm not listening to this i can't listen to this so right hunter said oh so now other people with bed are meanies right 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 lanny lanny said i used to binge you eat until you literally can't eat anymore it's awful uh, Tashi said, when I binge, it's like two bags of chips, at least the packet, at least one package of cookies and a meal. Like the binging, like I'm not, guys, she ate a burger. It was a normal burger. It was a normal fry and four mozzarella sticks. That's it. Like that's not a, <laughs> that's a normal dinner. Exactly. Catherine, she wants you to believe she just eats salads. 
<laughs> like she wants me to believe that she's dainty. I'm not, guys, is this seriously almost 10 minutes of her ranting about this? I can't listen to this. Oh my God. Um, the way that people's head spaces, the things that they eat, um, how they feel, how fast they eat, etc., is different for everybody. And in that moment, I was in a haze where I wasn't thinking clearly. I didn't care. Um, all I cared about was the food that was in front of me. And I really quickly wanted to show you guys what I was eating because I, I have reached this point where it's like, I don't want to be ashamed as much as I don't want to talk about it because of this. It's guys, I can't like. If you're going to show us a binge, show us a, a binge. Don't insult us and, like, the ED community while you're at it. Like, I can't listen to this. I, I, I do believe that binges are different for everybody. But I also believe that a burger and fries is a binge for nobody. I think that's a typical dinner. Oh... Six Bacon said, she said McDonald's was closed, so she got rallies. Rallies closes at 3 a.m. <laughs> you guys are horrible. Not all of you, but a large quantity is horrible. And How am I horrible? I I'm reached... not the one trying to say that a burger and fries is a binge. <laughs> like, that's not me. That's not me. What? This point where... My binging used to be astronomically larger than what it is now. I have tried to express that to you guys. I have showed you guys actually in the past, like years and years ago, what I ate during a binge. It's not the same. I have tried to explain. Amber, if, I, I don't know how else to put this, but if, if that burger and fries was more than a typical meal for you, then in that case, you would not be this weight and you would not be gaining weight. I think Amber's weight is such that that she could have that burger and fries and even another meal and she wouldn't even gain. It's insulting because you're lying to us and telling us that that's one of your binges. It's, it's not. That was a normal meal. Like, you can't... Right, Key Scribble said, and yet somehow she can't, in quotes, lose weight. Well, that's the thing. That's why she showed us a small bin. She wants us to believe. She's not showing us what she eats all day, every day. So she wants us to start to believe that she doesn't eat much. But the proof is in the pudding. I hate to say it. Now she's saying her stomach looks bigger after gaining weight because of her lipedema. Guys, I can't. I, 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 I'm in too good of a mood to rage. But this is BS. Not my binging is a lot smaller now um, in quantity, thankfully. What I ordered was a binge. What I ate was a binge. And for people to sit there and just say this is insulting because this isn't a binge. Exactly, six bacons, look at her with her head. She's like, ugh, you guys are so dumb. But literally, six bacon said, burger, fry, and drink are literally a number one meal at every fast food place. <laughs> like. It, it was a totally normal meal. God, I'm sorry. That was normal. And she wants us to, she's just lying. And now she's trying to make herself a victim because of it. Guys, this is infuriating. Wow. It's painful because it took me. What's painful? Every step you take? But I wouldn't be surprised. It. I think that that burger and fries was a very normal meal for Amber. And she has several of those a day. You know, a couple years, it took me some time. It took me having a psychologist who specializes in binge eating disorder for me to not only binge less frequently, but for me to eat less during a binge. It has taken time. It's taken work. It's time and work. Work. <laughs> the... All right, buttery croissant said um, it is insulting. I I deal I deal with binging in the past, and I'm 300 pounds less than Amber, that we know. And I could have stuffed myself with two three times that during a binge. Tell me about it. I could I could eat two three times that and not even call it a binge. Like, 
Well, maybe I guess that would be a binge. I, I don't know. I not that I typically eat three times that amount, but I'm. I think of most people can. It, plus, she's gaining weight. So, so, Matt the vegan says, hopefully, she gets the help she needs. Well, keep hoping. You That's, guys have keep seen, open. But it's time and work that I've put into it that I have seen that I have <laughs> felt, and it is so painful. For me to open up like that, like I, to me, it is so vulnerable for anybody. For I can't, anybody. guys. I don't know if I can listen to it. Can I stop watching at this point? Would you guys be really mad if I stopped at this point? I can't friggin' listen to this. Are you kidding me? This is above and beyond. Haley said she has a dainty stomach with less room than everyone else. I guess. I guess so. Right, Megan says she needs to show us a full day of eating before she scolds us. Oh no, she needs to show more than one. At this point, you really want me to believe your weigh-ins and you also want me to believe that that was a binge. Okay, Amber. Jeez Louise. Junik said keep watching, girl. I can't. <laughs> Why? All right, here. Ready to show what they ate during a binge. And there is so many people and yeah. videos on YouTube of people doing that and mm -hmm. every binge every... I, I watch these videos i want i'm not gonna lie i've totally seen these videos and this is kind of what i'm referring to when i talk about it i mean the amount of food that these girls eat oh Yo, my god every story is different and i just find it so i mean they're different but they're also not they're also all thousands and thousands of calories just like gut-wrenching for me to upload that, you know, and fear that I'm going to be judged based on how much I'm eating, but it's the reverse effect. People are saying that I didn't eat enough. What? It is just, it's, it's she's unfair. really, guys, she's acting indignant because we're, look, look where I paused. Look where I paused and you tell me if a burger and fries is a binge for the, for this woman. I can't. I'm sorry. Like, she's... This is just above and beyond at this point. I... <laughs> Not to mention, this is what... This is what's sneaky. And I think this is why... This, this, like, I think this is why she keeps her timeline so messed up. Because I think she's thinking or hoping that we forgot about this video she's talking about. Oh, I remember this video you're talking about, and I remember the binge you're talking about, and it was just a burger and fries, which is a normal lunch for everybody. <laughs> Come on. Called for. It is so uncalled for. And for people to say that it's not a binge because I pulled out my camera, what? My psychologist- No, I said it's not a binge because it was just a burger and fries with some mozzarella sticks. That's nothing. That's. I could eat a burger and fries and eat again later that day because I'm hungry. <laughs> like, it's has fun. told me, take pictures of your food before you binge. That is one of, like, the first thing she told me. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. You guys are talking about um that British show. I've totally seen it, where they swap the overeater and the undereater. Let me tell you why those shows piss me off. The reason why is because they make, they make the big person only have a cup of coffee and cigarette for breakfast, right? Well, not, I don't know about a cigarette, but basically they make the fat person not eat, but the skinny person gets to just sit there and look at all the food that the big person eats and not eat it. And that pisses me off. If you're gonna make the big person not eat, then make the little person eat. That actually ticks me off to a point I don't even enjoy that show because there's no point. Like all you're doing is making fun of the fat person Super size versus super skinny. That's it. I, I can't even watch that show because it ruins it for me. Like the the skinny person gets to sit there, arms folded. I can't eat all that, and they and they sit there, and not eat, while the friggin' fat person gets has to just drink tea for breakfast. Like it's BS. I do not. So for that reason, I do not like that show, and I do not watch that show because it's not. If they actually made the little person eat all the food the fat person did, then I would watch it. During our meetings and when I saw the dietitian. It's fat, literal fat shaming. I'm not saying saying that fat shaming isn't real. 
and that what do you call it uh fat phobia in society isn't real i do think it is to an extent and i can make a video more nuanced about it if you guys are interested probably not but that is an example of literal like fat shaming bullshit and it pisses me off from the outpatient program she also recommended it before you binge take a picture and I did it a couple times. I have I have done it a couple times. Okay, so she just dabbled at what the therapist told her to do. I dabbled. I didn't quite do what the therapist wanted me to do. But I just I just dabbled and it didn't work, guys. <laughs> but it's not like how she dabbles at a diet and then she's mad it doesn't work. Something that you think of because when you're in the fit of a binge, um The fit of a binge. It was a burger and fries. <laughs> okay. You don't think of things like that, but sometimes you do. And I have different levels to my binging. That's very apparent. And some of them, no, <laughs> I can't vlog. I won't vlog because it's just, it's too much. It's too, it's emotionally too much. But it is very common for people to pull out a camera. Okay, you guys are saying the skinny, per the skinny person's going to get sick. The poor skinny person's gonna get refeeding syndrome. The skinny person, but look, what about the fat person? They're sitting over there starving. Anyway, Don't sorry guys, I'm done. Binging for themselves or for um, their psychiatrist or therapist, whatever it may be. And there's TikToks, there's YouTube videos, there's all kinds of stuff online of people sharing that, uh, sharing the quantity and you know someone that people have been talking about lately is tammy lemon i believe yes is her name she is someone who also shares her so videos. now she's so now she's putting tammy lemon's name in her friggin mouth i'm so aggravated i'm sorry about my random rant about super size or super skinny guys i mean maybe i would like it better if it was if it wasn't so extreme like maybe show a skinny person that just has there are a smaller person who just has a bowl of oatmeal for breakfast, for example, or avocado toast like I do every morning, like a simple breakfast, right? Like, why is it got to be 10, 10 friggin' pounds of food or nothing? Like, it agitates me, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, Ella said I think you would like secret eaters more. Yeah, I'd have to check that one out. <laughs> and... You know, just be no, a fat person's not going to starve if they don't eat for a day, but they're going to have a headache and stuff, guys. I'm just saying. Anyway. Because she's showing them. And then your tummy has the rumblies. <laughs> I would have a hard time not eating anything. less valid. I don't know. Like, the way the comments are, yo, like, it is vile, <coughs> vile. <coughs> Sorry, I keep drinking water down the wrong pipe <clears throat> when I'm <clears throat> distracted. Anyway, look, I keep pausing at like <laughs> the. Re I mean, Amber, that you do understand why Tammy and you have different have different audiences, right? Like, do, do you, can you consider for a second that it has nothing to do with the food or your disorders? Can, can you just, for a second, conceptualize that actually the criticism that you get and the love Tammy gets actually has absolutely nothing to do with weight or food? And, anyway. And I know people can say, don't read the comments. You know what? I'm going to because right. I need to. Well, you're, she's going to, well, she's got to fill up her videos with something if she doesn't didn't read her comments. If she didn't, then she would have nothing to bitch about for 20 minutes, so. Able to have a relationship with my supporters. I, I know there's a lot of YouTubers out there who, like, don't read the comments, don't talk to their supporters, don't talk to anyone who views them. Like, it's weird, it's weird, weird, weird. And I've always been known to respond to, like, Instagram DMs. I used to, like, do, like, Ask FM or, like, telling <laughs> So Amber thinks she has a good relationship with her audience because she answers questions about herself on Ask FM. That's funny. And just like random websites where you guys can engage with me and like talk to me. I've always been very, very much a YouTuber who likes to respond to their 
uh, viewers and talk to them. And have okay, a well, and I, I don't recall any of that. You do like to answer questions on apps like Ask, Ask FM, but I don't. I mean, if Amber has been really involved with her audience, I kind of missed all that, guys. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to, to stop. Like, I know I go through phases where I'm like, oh, I'm not going to read the comments because that's just that's just what it is. You know, like, I want to read the comments because I want to keep that relationship with you guys. Um, but I want to keep that relationship with the right people. And by doing that, I have to go through, like, the horrible comments and no it's not cute it's not it's like literally not cute um the things that are being said in the video i uploaded today like it's just horrible like people are literally calling me a liar because i no. didn't eat enough amber yeah yeah well i'm calling you a liar that that's one of your binges yeah 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 look at the face she's making yes i believe you ate that meal I, that I believe, I believe that was your lunch, but you're trying to tell me that's a binge, girl. Look at you. During a binge, well, I, I don't even know. It just doesn't make sense at all. Like people have requested. Yeah, no, Matt the Vegan said, I would enjoy a series where she gets locked up and forced to become healthy. Biggest loser style. Anyone else, just me? I'd be so here for it. <laughs> I'd lock her up and put her on the Stark Solutions. <laughs> this type of content. Like, Amber Amazing. Lynn, I want to see what you eat during a binge. Maybe it'll help. Da -da -da -da. Maybe it'll help your audience understand you more. Da -da -da -da. <sighs> and then I do it, but uh, I'm being called a liar. Yeah, 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 you are, Amber. And I I'm actually going further and calling you an asshole for calling that a binge. Sorry, that I think it was rude of you. It's like you're making fun of binge eating disorder. It's like you're making a mockery of it, and it's infuriating. I know there's going to be people out there It's like, who cares what people say, blah, blah, blah. Who cares what people say about my hair? Who cares what people say about the color of the walls? Who cares what people say about my cooking? When it comes to, like, serious topics like this, I do care. Because it's my reputation. It's my life. It's other people who yeah so take it seriously amber like look <laughs> i i can't God, I, I don't even know what to say other than this she, she really how long did she talk about this since she was sitting here so she was in complaining about this for almost 10 minutes literally <laughs> 10 minutes yelling at us because we called her out like there's no way that was one of your binges girl I mean, get, get real. Also suffer watching my video and they're like, damn, my binge looks like that too. And then they go in the comments. Yeah, Alice said, I think your reputation got wrecked when you admitted to being, um, I'll say a bad partner with Casey. <laughs> I mean, that's, that, I mean, that's where things started. They, things just never got better after it. And they see people saying horrible things. You know, people do feel they react we're humans um i have feelings i have emotions things hit differently sometimes and when it comes to this subject it hits differently period like i can't guys she's acting like a victim i'm done like that was a really shitty thing of her to do to try to call that a binge like that really sucked and i'm done um <clears throat> matt, uh matt said that was shot uh, a while back, she's still worrying about this? That's strange. Uh, no, that's because these videos are like a week behind. So she just uploaded that video and got that video where she claimed she was binging on a burger and fries. She uploaded it that day she recorded what we just watched, if that makes sense. Because she is so, she's over a week behind, so. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, so that was really infuriating. That was, I, you know, it's funny because I went into this video like, oh my God, this one I know is so boring. What am I even going to say? And then, and then she pissed me the F off anyway. Like no matter how boring it is, like I still walk away from it being all pissed. <laughs> it's so funny. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, Hild said, so everyone who orders a, a, a large number one at McDonald's is binging? Yes. Well, no, no. It's because 
Binges are different for everybody, and Amber's unique because her binges are dainty. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Des uh, Desk said, uh, Amber, how about some intuitive thinking before you eat? <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Uh, yeah, Catherine said, she's a lost cause. I'm just in it for the... Yeah, I mean, I, I'm kind of just watching to, to see where it goes, too. I mean, I think we... I mean, look, guys, she's got to... I can't. I can't. All right, everybody. So I want to let you know that voting began for Pet of the Month on our Discord. So go to our Discord, go to the pet section, and react with an emoji to the pet you want to win. The pet with the most emojis gets a $10 gift card at the end of the month. So get your voting in uh, for Pet of the Month. <laughs> a dainty binge, Ultis. <laughs> Amber has dainty binges. That's all I got to say. All right, get your uh, votes in. And other than that, guys, I guess the next time I'll be live will be, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the Cozy Monday stream, right, at 2 p.m. on Monday. So I will see you guys on Tuesday. Or on, I'll see you guys on Monday. I'm blanking. <laughs> I've been talking too much. Okay, so I'm I, Raquel, I can't submit Raquel because I'm an admin. Friggin' who said that? Just a human. Yeah, now I I can't... And the reason why I can't... Look, you all know that if I submitted Simba for Pet of the Month, he would win handedly every month. And I feel like it's not fair. He is literally the most handsome cat in America. So that's why I, I don't submit my pets. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, guys. I hope you have a great weekend. Um, and I will... Do yes, don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you, Six Bacons. And... I don't know, Michigan or Ohio State. Why are you asking me that six bacons? I don't do college sports. I'm not I, I'm not I'm not a huge sports fan, guys. I'm just an I'm just an Eagles fan. <laughs> Alright guys, I will see you Monday at uh 